As you can see, the mill is in place here. We've taken the three bolts off that protect it uh, from movement during shipment. And now it's on to wiring up the VFD and whatnot. There, unless I'm missing something, there's no specific instructions on that. And I imagine it's fairly straightforward, but we'll go through that together. So here's the computer box. I think what we'll do is we'll just hook everything up. And then when it's all running, I'll make a little shelf for the PC to sit on. This PC, I'm going to orient this way because on this side is the main access panel. So if I need to clean it out or upgrade parts, I can do that easily. So it's going to face this way on the mill. And it will also allow me to get these cables coming out the back to uh, this port here. First, we install this parallel cable into the control box here, there and then into the back of the computer. And there, this is the blue one, so we're gonna plug it into the blue port there. It doesn't appear that there's instructions on how to install the VFD, but it, I, I think it's pretty apparent where that gets wired to. So um, I believe this goes into the VFD. Of course, the VFD gets plugged into the wall, that's 220. This control box is 120, so we've got the computer here and then the control box. So both of these get plugged into this power strip and then this gets wired to the VFD. The VFD installation should be done by a qualified electrician. That's what Shop Saber recommends. Here, I'm just showing this for the purposes of entertainment. And uh, so we've got the cable coming off of here on the cable, ca cable, cane, cable chain and that will go right into the VFD. And uh, there are instructions on here for an electrician to follow. So I'm just gonna follow those um, and then we'll get it all wired up. Take these two screws off. This panel comes off. These two screws come off as well. There's tabs on the side here. So hopefully you can see all this clearly. Here I'm holding the cable that comes from the mill. This is probably upside down for you. Uh, U, V, and W. Those are gonna go down here. Now we have, of course, our two ground. You can see the two ground screws here, indicated by the ground symbol. I'm gonna pass the wire through here and then get them wired up. Now I'm just going to confirm that they are wired correctly. Our first one here is U, that one there. The next one is V, it's hard to see down there. That's one right there, it's the second one. And then of course the last one is W wired up there. And we've got our ground, I think we're good there. All right, so this cable coming off the cable chain, wrapping around to our VFD is now wired up. We got our U, V, W, and ground, they're all um, coming out of this cable here. And now we have the data cable, the smaller one, comes off here. It's got this connector that'll go right into the control box. In addition to the uh, wiring coming out of the VFD to your machine, you also, of course, need power from the uh, breaker box. So that's fairly straightforward here. I'm just gonna show it on the manual. You've got your line one, line two, that's where those go. And then of course your ground. We are completely wired up here on the VFD. You can see the display there is on. Looks like we don't have any warnings or anything. I'm gonna confirm that everything else is plugged in. We've got our parallel port here going to the control box from the computer, obviously our power cord, and then make sure this switch is on. And then going up here, we are plugged in here uh, for the parallel port. And then this is the wire for the VFD. And then this is our switch to turn on the actual CNC. But first I need to set up the computer with the monitor. And first we're going to uh, do updates on the computer and then we can start running the CNC. We have everything started up. The computer is on, the control box is on. Obviously the VFD is wired up, ready to go. We're going to do the homing sequence. 
which uh, we want to select that right there. So I'm gonna do that with the mouse way over here and hit home. Right. There we go. Now before the warm-up sequence, which I believe runs the spindle at certain RPM, kind of low, and then for a certain amount of time, and then at another speed, and another, it keeps going up so that um, I believe the bearings can warm up. But what I want to do is make sure there's a collet inside as well as a bit, because I've heard if you don't, this uh, nut can come off and fly all, all over the place. So I'm going to get a collet and a bit in there and we'll do the warm-up sequence. In this bag that has the collets, there's also this, what I believe is the software, and it does not appear that VCarve is installed. So while it's doing the warm-up sequence, I'm gonna install VCarve, and then after that, we should be good to go. I was wrong. This is actually a backup of WinCNC. It is not VCarve. So if you order VCarve, you need to go back to your email that you received that has your license key on it, and obviously download the VCarve software and install it on the machine. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I started the warm up sequence by clicking warm up and you can hear the spindle and it looks like it's running at 9000 RPM. 